Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and for today's class I have a full body Pilates workout for you. So when you're ready, let's start today's class nice and slowly in a child's pose. So knees nice and wide, stretch your arms forward and let your forehead rest heavy on the mat. Take this time to tune in to your breath. So nice big inhales through your nose and exhales through your mouth. On your next inhale, shift forward to your hands and your knees, arch your spine, look slightly up. Exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your navel and sit your hips back to a child's pose. Keep going, inhale as you shift forward and exhale as you shift back. Taking this at your own pace here, following your own breath pattern. Option to drop your hips lower as you shift forward, coming into a cobra stretch. Let's do one more, inhale, shift forward, lower your hips, open through your heart center, exhale, round your spine and sit your hips back. Let's shift forward to our hands and our knees now, coming into a neutral spine, so draw your navel in towards your spine, extend your left leg back, lift the leg to hip height and then reach your right arm forward by your ear. Take a nice inhale, then exhale, pull elbow to knee, inhale, extend. So exhale as you pull your elbow and your knee in towards the center and inhale as you extend them out nice and long, creating one long line. Make sure here that you're keeping a nice soft bend through your left elbow and really try to reach through those fingertips and those toes as you reach your arm and leg out. Let's do two more. And last one, hold your left leg extended. Let's take our right hand back down to the mat. Curl your right toes under, draw up through your navel and then press through your shoulders and press yourself back into a three-legged dog, extending your left leg up towards the sky. Take a nice inhale, then exhale, shift your hips forward, coming into a high plank, keeping that left leg hovering off the mat. Then inhale, press back to your three-legged dog. Let's do this four more times. Exhale as you shift forward into your high plank and inhale as you press back. Last one, let's hold in our plank. On your exhale, pull your left knee to the outside of your left arm and then inhale, extend it back just for four because I'm feeling nice. Three, two more. Exhale, pull, inhale, extend, last one. Well done. Take a big step forward to the outside edge of your mat. Make sure your left toes are turned out. Drop your right knee, uncurl your right toes. Left hand behind your head, inhale, open your chest up to the left. Then exhale, turn your chest down towards the mat. Feeling a nice stretch through our spine. See if you can tap your left elbow down towards the mat. Last one, inhale, open. And then let's take our left hand down to the mat. Curl your right toes under, lift your right knee, and just take a few gentle rocks forward and back to make sure that our left hip is nice and open. Then take a big step forward with your right foot to the outside edge of your mat. Turn your feet into parallel and let your upper body just fold. So letting your upper body just hang here, taking nice deep breaths. And then alternate bending and straightening your legs. So you bend 
and stretch, feeling a nice release through the back of our legs. Let's do two more. And last one. Good job. Let's level this up now. So bend your knees, sit your hips low, reach your arms by your ears, and then press all the way up to standing. So tap your hands down to the mat, bend your knees, sit your hips low, reach your arms by your ears, and press up to standing. Keep going making sure that you're keeping your core engaged so really drawing your navel in towards your spine this is your last one here then let's hold in our standing position turn your toes out slightly so our feet are mat distance apart with our toes turned out draw your navel in and drop your tailbone inhale Squat down, reaching your arms by your ears, and exhale, press up. So inhale as you squat down, exhale as you press. Making sure, like with all of our squats, that we're shifting our weight back into our heels, really sending our glutes far behind us, and that we're pressing our knees out to make sure that they are tracking over our toes, Last one, let's hold low in our squat and just swing your arms back and forward. Nice inhale and exhale, keeping your hips nice and low, creating a little bit of heat now through our upper body by moving our arms. Let's keep the arms going and add a pulse in our legs. So you pulse down and down as your arms swing back and forward. Let's do eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Hands come to the tops of your thighs. Let's ripple our spine all the way up to standing. Heel toe your feet so that they are in parallel now, hip distance apart. Take a big step back with your right foot, preparing for our lunges. So draw your navel in, and let's take our hands behind our head, elbows wide. Inhale, lunge down, exhale, press up. So you inhale as you lunge down, and exhale as you power out of your lunge. Making sure, like always, that our joints are stacked on top of one another, so that front knee is stuck directly over your front ankle, and you're keeping your hips directly underneath your shoulders. On this next one, inhale, lunge down, exhale, twist to your left, then inhale, come through center, and exhale, press up. So you inhale, lunge, exhale, twist, inhale, center, exhale, press. Let's do two more of these. Little bit of a balance challenge, I know. Last one. Now hold low, chest through center. Let's reach our arms up to the sky and pulse it down and down. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Step that right foot up. Let's switch sides. So left foot steps back. Draw your navel in. Drop your tailbone. Hands behind your head. Inhale. Let's lunge down. Exhale, press up. Try to keep your chest nice and lifted here, your elbows nice and wide. And really power through that back leg to press out of your lunge. Last one. Let's go back to our combo. So inhale, lunge. Exhale, twist over to your right. Inhale, center, exhale, press. So you lunge, twist, come through center, and press. Two more of these. Trying to stay nice and low as you twist over to your right. Last one. Let's hold through center, reach your arms up and pulse it out. Down and down, really firing up our legs here. You have six more, five, four, three, 
two and one beautiful job let's take our hands back down to the mat and press yourself back into a downward facing dog pedal your heels alternate bending your knees just taking a moment here to release any tension through the backs of your legs then carefully lower back down to your knees finding your tabletop position extend your right leg back lift it up to hip height and your left arm forward inhale find length then exhale pull elbow to knee inhale extend exhale pull so every time that you pull your elbow and your knee towards each other i want you to think of lifting up through your belly button taking a nice exhale as you drop your ribs down towards your hips. Let's do two more. Exhale, pull. Inhale, stretch. Last one. Well done. Set your left hand down now. Let's curl our left toes under and then pressing through your shoulders and lifting up through your navel, press back into your three-legged dog, extending your right leg up to the sky. Take a nice inhale, then exhale, shift forward to your high plank, keeping that right leg lifted, and then inhale, press back to your three-legged dog. So exhale as you shift forward, making sure your shoulders are over your wrists, and inhale as you press back. You have two more of these. Last one. Hold in your plank. Right knee pulls to right tricep on your exhale. Inhale, extend. So exhale, pull out wide. Inhale, extend. Three more. I know this is challenging. Two. One more. Well done. Step that right foot to the outside edge of your mat. Toes are turned out. Drop your left knee and uncurl your left toes. Right hand comes behind your head now. Inhale, twist open to the right. Exhale, tap your right elbow down to the mat. So inhale as you open and exhale as you close your chest down towards the mat. This should feel like a really nice stretch for your spine. last one set your right hand down now so both hands are on the inside of your right leg lift your left knee up and just take those friendly little rocks forward and back making sure we release any tension through our hips and our legs then step your right foot back into your downward facing dog Taking one deep breath here. So nice big inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Let's set our knees down now. Cross your feet behind you and shift your weight back onto your glutes. Scoot yourself forwards. So you're on the middle of your mat now and holding on to the backs of your thighs. Take a nice inhale, lengthening through your spine and exhale vertebra by vertebra roll yourself all the way down to your back once you are all the way down bend your knees your feet are hip distance apart and take your hands behind your head interlacing your fingers elbows nice and wide inhale lift up through your pelvic floor muscles and then exhale curl your head and shoulders up inhale lower and exhale curl so every time that you lift your head and shoulders up, I want you to make sure that your chin is slightly dropped down towards your chest. As you take your nice exhale, think of that rib to hip connection. So really dropping your ribs down towards your hips, finding that core engagement. On your next one, let's hold our head and shoulders lifted and release your hands to the tops of your thighs. Let's take baby curls up and up, reaching your fingertips to the tops of your knees if you can. Just six more, five, you can do it, four, 
three, really reach, two and one. Well done. Release your head back down and reach your arms overhead. You might need to scoot your feet a few inches forward for this next exercise. Take a nice inhale, then exhale, lift your head and shoulders, reaching your hands by your hips. Come up to seated, inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, roll yourself back down with control, then inhale, arms reach overhead. So exhale as you curl up, coming all the way up to seated. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, roll yourself back down and inhale, arms sweep overhead. Do you have two more of these? Feel free to use your hands to walk up your thighs if you need that extra help. This is quite a challenging exercise, so be patient with yourself. On this last one, let's round our spine halfway back and place your elbows down on the mat. Make sure they're underneath your shoulders and then walk your feet in and lift your legs up to a tabletop position. Make sure that you're really pressing down through your arms and your shoulders and lifting up through your chest. Your pelvis is slightly tucked under to make sure that our abs are nice and engaged. From here, on your inhale, extend your legs out to the diagonal and then exhale, pull your knees back in. Really squeezing your thighs together as you extend your legs out, engaging our lower abdominals and then pull your knees back in. Try to stay nice and lifted through the upper body, avoiding sinking into our arms. We want to keep pressing down with those arms. Last one, hold your legs out to the diagonal. Say hello to my cat and then inhale, pull your right knee in towards your chest. Exhale, extend it out. Inhale, pull your left knee in and extend it out. So just alternating pulling one knee in towards your chest as you keep the opposite leg super straight and extended out on the diagonal. If you have a cat that wants to sit underneath your legs, maybe grab them as well as a nice little challenge. Then from here, let's level things up. So this time, inhale, lower your right leg down, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower your left leg, exhale, lift. So this one is really challenging because you're keeping both legs extended. So just keep breathing here. Nice inhale and exhale. Make sure you're still pressing down through your arms, lifting through your chest. You can do it. And last one, well done. Okay, final challenge. Really engage your abs, dropping your ribs down towards your hips. And let's reach our arms forward, finding a nice hollow hold. Just for five, four, three, two, and one. Yikes, lower yourself all the way down to your back. Well done, guys. I know that that one is a challenging one for your abs. From here, Keep your legs extended and let's squeeze our thighs together. Hands behind your head, interlacing your fingers and elbows wide. Let's hover our left leg off the mat. Take a nice inhale, then exhale. Pull your left knee to your chest, bringing your right elbow to your left knee. And then inhale, lower everything back down, keeping that left leg off the mat. So you exhale, lift and twist. Inhale, lower back down. Really try to bring that right elbow all the way to your left knee, but try to stop your left knee directly over your left hip. That way you really have to use the strength of your core and your abs to lift your head and shoulders up to tap that right elbow to your knee. Last one, let's hold everything lifted. Turn your chest to center now and clap your hands behind your left knee 
and then lower your upper body down. So you exhale, curl up, clap your hands behind your knee, inhale, lower your upper body, but keeping your left leg exactly where it is, super still. This one burns. Let's do one more. Exhale, clap, and now hold your curl. Lift your right leg off the mat and just take little claps behind your knee. You clap and clap. Just six more, you can do it. Five, really reach. Four, three, lift a little higher. Two, and one. My gosh, abs should be on fire. Take a quick little breather here, and then we will get into our next side. So hands behind your head, interlace your fingers, elbows wide. Lift your right leg off the mat, take a nice inhale, then exhale, pull the knee towards the chest and twist. So exhale, curl and twist, inhale lower, bringing that left elbow now to our right knee. Making sure that that right knee doesn't come too close towards your chest, we want to aim to stop it directly over our right hip and use our abs to draw our left elbow to our right knee. Exhale, curl and inhale, center. Last one, hold everything lifted. Let's bring our chest through center and clap our hands behind our right thigh. Inhale, lower the upper body down. So exhale, curl up, clap. Inhale, lower back down. Keeping that right leg super still. You can do it. Two more. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lower. Last one, let's hold our curl. Lift your left leg off the mat and take those claps and claps. Really reaching and reaching, you have six more. Five, you can do it. Four, embrace the burn. Two, and one, well done. Rest your head down. Take a nice big sigh of relief, maybe massage your abs. <laughs> and then from here, let's walk our heels in towards our glutes. Our feet are hip distance apart in parallel. Palms press down by your sides. And then pressing through your heels, let's roll our hips up, coming into our bridge position. Really tuck your hips under, making sure that there's no arching through your back. On your inhale, let's lower our hips and exhale, lift. So inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Really making sure that you're driving through your heels and finding that engagement through the base of your glutes. So really squeezing your glutes on the way up. Let's do two more. And last one, hold your hips lifted. Shift all of your weight into your right foot and let's take our left leg up to a tabletop position. Exhale, tap your left toes down to the mat and inhale, lift them back up. If you want more of a challenge, you can reach your arms up towards the sky as you tap that toe down. If you want even more of a challenge, you can reach your arms overhead as you tap your toe down towards the mat. You pick your level. And last one, hold your leg lifted. Let's return our hands back down to the mat. And then on your inhale, lower your hips down and exhale, lift. This one is really challenging. So if you need to set that left foot back down on the mat, please feel free to. If not, try to keep the leg lifted and really press through the heel of your right foot, squeezing your glutes to lift your hips. You can do it. And last one, hold your hips lifted. Let's take little pulses up and up. Option to reach your arms up towards the sky and extending your left leg super straight. You have four more, three, two, and one. Well done. Keep that left leg extended. Roll your hips down with control. 
and then lift your head and shoulders and hold on to the back of your left calf or left thigh wherever you can reach and extend your right leg out long. Let's take some scissor switches 10 times. Let's go. Exhale, switch and switch. Four, eight, seven, nice strong legs. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Hug your knees in, rest your head, and let's place our feet back down on the mat. Scoot your heels in towards your glutes. Make sure they are hip distance apart and in parallel. Press your palms down by your side and let's lift our hips back up to our bridge position. Tuck your pelvis under and engage your abs. Let's lift our right leg now to a tabletop position. On your exhale, tap your right toes down to the mat and inhale lift keeping your hips nice and still. Option to reach your hands up towards the ceiling as you tap your toes down. If you want more of a challenge, you can reach your arms overhead as you tap your toes down to the mat and then bring them back up to the ceiling or to the sky. One more. Hold your leg lifted, return your hands back down to the mat. Inhale, lower your hips down and exhale, lift. So this one is really challenging. So take it at your own pace, making sure that you are controlling the movement and that you're not arching through your back. You have two more. And last one, hold your hips lifted. Option to reach your arms up towards the sky. Let's pulse our hips up and up. Also option to extend your right leg nice and straight. You have three more, two and one. Well done. Roll your hips down. Keep your right leg extended. This time, hands behind your head, elbows wide. Lift your head and shoulders and twist over to your right. Let's extend our left leg out. And this time, let's scissor switch our legs with a twist. So we switch and switch. We twist and twist. You have six more. Nice exhale and exhale. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. Hug your knees in. Really give yourself a nice little massage here, rocking your spine side to side. And then let's roll on to our side. So coming onto the right side of your body. Now I do recommend if you have sensitive hips that you place a towel or a blanket or something soft just underneath your right hip to give it a little extra cushion. Then from here, resting your head in your hand, let's bend our legs at a 90 degree angle. So your knees are directly in line with your hips and your shins are parallel to the front edge of your mat. Then on your exhale, let's lift our left leg up and down. So your left leg lifts straight up and lowers back down, keeping that nice 90 degree angle with the leg. This is really going to get into the outside of our glutes as well as our outer thighs. Let's do two more. And last one, hold your leg lifted. From here, tap your knees together and then your toes. Nice inhales and exhales. So internally rotating your leg and then externally rotating. This is when things already start to get a little burny, which is exactly what we want. Let's do two more. And last one. Well done. Let's bring our knees together again. On your exhale, extend your leg up and back so it's in line with your body. And then inhale, tap your knees together again. So exhale, extend up and back. 
inhale tap Take your top fingertips on to the mat in front of you just to give you a little extra room and you can also use it for a little extra support. Really try to reach through those left toes and find length through that left leg as you extend the leg up and back. Let's do one more. Then hold your leg extended, flex your left foot. We're gonna take two pulses. So we pulse down, lift, down, lift, then sweep the leg straight forward, lower the leg down and up, down and up, and sweep the leg back. So you have two lowers and lifts. Sweep the leg forward, two lowers and lifts, and sweep the leg back. So keep going with this, just breathing naturally here, trying to keep your leg nice and straight, making sure that that leg doesn't drop too low. So we wanna keep it at hip height and slightly above hip height. Okay, on your next one, hold your leg kicked forward. Rotate your toes down towards the mat and let's just lower and lift the leg. This one burns, lower and lift. Keep breathing. Exhale each time that you lift your leg up. You have four more, you can do it. Three, two, and one. Well done, that should have hurt. Give your glute a nice little hit if you need to. And then guess what? We get straight into our next side. So come down onto the left side of your body now, resting your head in your hand. Your legs come to a 90 degree angle. So knees directly in line with hips, shins parallel to the front edge of your mat. Then exhale, lift your top leg and inhale lower. Now this side will be a little bit more challenging than the first side because the glute that you are sitting on is already tired. So as you open that top leg, you might feel your bottom glute scream at you a little bit and that's totally normal. Okay, on your next one, hold your leg lifted. Let's tap our knees together and then our toes. Nice inhale and exhale. Really good job guys, just keep breathing here. Feel free to close your eyes if you need to. Let's do one more. Then hold your knees together, take your top hand onto the mat. On your exhale, extend your leg up and back behind you. Inhale, tap your knees together. So exhale, you extend up and back. Inhale, tap. Making sure that when you extend that leg up and back, that you are keeping your hips nice and still and stacked on top of one another. Really send energy out through that right leg and out through those toes finding that beautiful extension through your leg. Let's do one more. Then hold your leg extended, flex your foot. Let's go back to our combo. So two lower and lifts, then kick your leg forward, two lowers and lifts, and kick your leg back really trying to control the lower and the lifts, making sure that that leg doesn't drop below hip height. So you're only lowering the leg down to hip level and then kicking it back up above hip level. You got it, just breathing naturally here. 
trying to keep your core nice and engaged. So use the fingertips that are pressing down onto the mat to help you really lift up through the side of your waist. Keep going, you're doing really well. You have one more of these. Okay, on this next one, hold your leg forward, rotate your toes down towards the mat, and let's just lower and lift just 10 times. You can do it. And eight, nice exhale each time you lift. Six, ouch, I know, four, you got it. Three, two more, last one. Well done. Give that glute a nice big massage or a hit. Really good job, guys. From here, press yourself up. Maybe fix your hair if you need to. Okay, from here, roll the front of your mat back so that you create a nice little cushion. And then set your knees onto your cushion. Make sure that they are about hip distance apart. And then find your nice straight spine. So draw your navel in and drop your tailbone. Reach your arms in line with your shoulders. Take a nice inhale. Then exhale, keeping your spine super straight, hinge back and inhale, come back up. So exhale, you hinge back, inhale, come back up. Now this is a really challenging exercise. You really wanna make sure that you are squeezing your glutes, dropping your ribs down towards your hips as you hinge all the way back and then come back up. On your next one, let's hold in our hinge. Take a nice inhale, reach your left arm back and exhale, come back through center. Inhale, reach the right arm back, exhale, come through center. So just alternating twisting to one side, really trying to keep that hinge, tucking your hips under, squeezing your glutes. I know this really hurts. Last one, hold through center. On your inhale, sit your hips down. Don't let them touch your heels. And then exhale, push your hips forward, finding that hinge. So inhale, you sit your hips down, exhale, you press them forward. So this feels very much so like the squats that we do standing, but we're just doing them in a kneeling position. You got it, your thighs should be on fire. Last one, let's hold our hips lifted. Try to hinge back a little bit more for your final exercise. And let's just switch our arms. So you just switch and switch. Nice big scissors. For five, four, three, you got it. Two and one. My gosh, thighs on fire. Give your thighs a nice little rub. I'm sure you're really happy to come out of that exercise. Okay, from here, let's come on to our hands and our knees, getting ready for our push-up series. So hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Shift your hips forward, making sure that your body is at a nice diagonal line and curl your toes under. We have a combo. Inhale, bend your elbows nice and close to your waistline. Exhale, press up. Then lift your knees and open your left arm up towards the sky, coming into a side plank. Then set your knees down. So one tricep push up, press up, open to your side plank and lower back down. So it's inhale and exhale, inhale to a side plank, exhale back to your push up. One more. From here, let's hold in our plank, exhale, wrap your waist and inhale, open. Option to drop your bottom knee down towards the mat if you need that extra support. Keep going, making sure that your hand is directly underneath your shoulder. You're really lifting up through those abdominals. And last one. Well done. Let's set our hands and our knees back down. This time, take your hands a little bit wider. Your fingertips are pointed 
inwards. Let's take a nice wide push up this time. Then open your right arm up towards the sky and come back down. So inhale, bend, exhale, press. Inhale, open to your side plank. Exhale, lower back down. You have two more of these. You got it. Last one. Let's hold in our plank. Exhale, wrap your right arm to your waist and inhale, open. So you wrap and open. Lowering your bottom knee down to the mat if you need that extra support. Really trying to stay nice and lifted through that underside of your body, pressing through your left shoulder. And last one, well done. Set your hands and your knees back down and let's lower ourselves now all the way down to the front side of our body. Your legs are mat distance apart. Stack your hands, bend your elbows and rest your forehead on your hands. Inhale, draw your navel in towards your spine and then exhale, squeeze your glutes and lift your legs up and inhale, lower. So exhale, both legs lift, inhale, lower. Really squeezing your glutes and activating your legs, really reaching through your legs and pointing through your toes as you lift your legs up. Let's do two more. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Last one. Well done. Let's keep our legs on the mat now. On your inhale, lift your upper body up and exhale, lower back down. So inhale, lift, keeping your forehead resting on your hands and exhale, lower. Making sure that you're drawing your navel in towards your spine to avoid any excess arching through your back. Let's do two more. And on your last one, hold your upper body lifted. And now let's lift our legs off the mat as well. Start beating your heels together. So nice big beats with your feet, squeezing your glutes, and then reach your arms by your ears. Flip your palms out. Inhale, reach your arms back towards your hips, lifting your chest. And then exhale, bend your elbows and reach your arms forward. Inhale, flip your palms out, reach your arms back, keep beating those heels. Exhale, bend your elbows, reach your arms forward. This is a funky little exercise, but it should feel kind of nice. Imagine that you are in some beautiful ocean, really swimming in the water. Keep going, you have one more of these. Inhale, really reach those arms back, lift through your chest and exhale, lower back down. Well done, guys. Close your legs together. Take your hands underneath your elbows, press yourself up and press back into a well-deserved child's pose. Okay, we have made it now to our final little exercise. Let's return to our hands and our knees. So hands directly underneath shoulders, knees directly underneath our hips. Curl your toes under, take a nice inhale, drawing in through your navel, then exhale, hover your knees off the mat. Inhale, press back to a downward facing dog, then exhale, shift forward back to that hovering tabletop, making sure those knees don't touch the mat. So exhale, shift forward, inhale, press back. Making sure that as you shift forward, your knees are directly underneath your hips and your shoulders are directly over your wrists. Let's do two more. And last one, hold those knees hovering. Exhale, pull your right knee to your left elbow and then your other knee. So exhale, pull, inhale, center, exhale, pull, inhale, center. Trying to keep those knees hovering off the mat, keeping that strong tabletop position. You can do it. Let's do one more on each side. 
well done step your feet back into a high plank inhale pike your hips up and exhale lower them back down so inhale lift your hips exhale lower really using our core here using the strength of our shoulders we only have one more exercise left to do and then you are done for class so stay with me two more of these last one now hold in your plank let's just alternate knees to chest you pull and pull really pressing through your shoulders lifting up through your belly button now you can stay with this so if you want to finish class with a bang let's run those knees out nice and fast you got it only eight more seconds seven six five four three two and one well done set your knees down press your hips back and press back into a child's pose really good job everyone take this time to return to your breath and feel the beautiful effects of your pilates practice today through your body Then on your next inhale, shift forward to your hands and your knees, arch your spine, look slightly up. Exhale, round your spine and shift your hips back. Keep going. So returning to that same movement as we started class, just following your own breath here, doing what feels good for your body. Then on your next one, come to your hands and your knees, finding your neutral spine. Inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky. Exhale, thread your left arm through the right, keeping your hips nice and high as you twist open to your right, pressing down through your left shoulder and taking nice deep breaths. Then press yourself back up and let's switch sides inhale reach your right arm up and exhale thread your right arm through the left finding a nice twist through your spine then carefully press yourself back up cross your feet behind you and shift your weight back onto your glutes let's bring the soles of our feet together knees are apart inhale lengthen your spine opening through your chest and exhale hinge forward from your hips trying to keep your spine nice and straight as you press your knees down towards the mat releasing any tension through our hip flexors in the outside of our glutes then lift your chest, extend your left leg out to the side. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, side bend over towards your left. Taking your gaze up towards the sky if that feels good for you. Then inhale, lift your chest. Turn your chest towards your straight leg, flexing your foot. And then exhale, hinge forward, reaching towards your toes, finding your nice forward fold. Then carefully roll on up. Let's switch legs. Extend your right leg out to the side. Bend your left knee in. Inhale, reach your left arm up. And exhale, side bend over to your right looking up towards the sky if that feels good for you then inhale lift your chest turn your chest towards your straight leg flexing your foot and exhale hinge forward finding your nice forward fold
then carefully roll yourself back up from here let's find a comfortable seated position on our mat option to cross one shin in front of the other or if you want a deeper stretch stack your shins on top of one another flexing your feet take a nice inhale open your chest and exhale carefully walk your hands forward finding your forward fold feeling a really nice release through your glutes then carefully walk your hands back and let's switch the crossing of our legs so bringing one shin in front of the other or if you want that deeper stretch stacking your shins on top of one another but making sure to flex your feet inhale as you lengthen your spine and exhale as you walk your hands forward taking nice deep breaths here really breathing into this stretch then carefully walk your hands back up release your feet finding a comfortable seated position for you and let's finish class today with one last big inhale reaching your arms up towards the sky and exhale lower your hands down to prayer well done everyone thank you so much for joining me today for this full body pilates workout i know it was a challenging one but remember the more you do it the easier it gets because the stronger you become if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to like this video leave me a comment share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel thank you so much everyone and i look forward to seeing you next time